this idea is not my own, but I featured it a few months back on my community tab, so some of you might have seen it before. But the video was only 20 seconds long or something like that. So I'll tell you a little bit about how I made this. No sewing involved. If you're making a show piece for bragging rights, then you probably want to use some thicker rawhide and you probably want to stitch it all together with some linen thread. But I didn't do any of that. I used the cheapest stuff I could find, which you could get a big bag of it on the internet for 20 bucks. It's just scraps. And since it's often thin, what you can do to compensate is you can press two layers together with epoxy and then it becomes really thick and really hard because leather is so porous it readily absorbs epoxy and then it makes the epoxy uses the leather as a substrate to make a nice hard micarta like substance. Uh, another thing that works really well with that idea is cotton. Cotton thread readily absorbs epoxy and it makes a really hard substance. This was not cotton but now I know better and if I were to do this again I would probably use cotton although this works great. Looking at it close up there's a magnet. There's additional material here. It's just a scrap piece that was folded over and pressed on with epoxy and weighted until it hardened. It serves two functions. The blade ends here, the bit, I'm sorry, about an inch back. And so it would be likely that this point could poke through later, so in anticipation of that, I reinforced it right away. There's also an additional layer in here. These, oh, I didn't finish. The second function that this has is it keeps, it builds a layer up so it's less likely to bump that and open it. There's also an additional layer here to stiffen this patch up around the magnet so that you can't bend the leather back and peel the magnet away. Over time it would probably peel the epoxy away. You could use a snap or some other type of fancy button here if you wanted to. I'm sure there are fasteners that you could better secure this. But as I said, this is about utility. And this stitching is actually, these are just copper staples. The staples go in in a U-shape and then they're bent over and returned up. So one U-shaped staple will make three of these flat parts, if that makes any sense to you. Editor's note, just a clarification. This is what the staples look like. And so there's only two of them in here, even though there's only two it makes a total of three flat spots for each one. So one is going this way, and one is going this way. So you can see a total of six. The finish of this is mink oil. And don't use the mink oil on it until uh, your epoxy is set up nice. But look at that. It's a four pound axe and it doesn't move at all. It's still quite sticky from the mink oil, but part of the beauty of using this setup is that leather breaks in. It will start to conform to the specific shape of this axe head and over time it will fit like a glove. The first thing I did was make a pattern, just take a piece of um, newspaper, fold it, newspaper is way cheaper than leather, 
figure out what you're going to do and how you're going to fit it. And then once you have this, you can just lay it right on your leather and cut it out. That's all it took. That's the one little piece. And then, as I've said, I folded a scrap over this to help solidify that. And I folded a scrap over here as well. And also that. Oh, and there was that one inch piece in here. So the, the glued sandwich here is three layers and it's an inch thick if you care. I mean, you might want to copy exactly what I did here because it worked quite nicely. It beats what I was using, which was duct tape and foam. <laughs> but it was safe-ish, and it was nice on the back of the quad. It would bounce around and not hurt anything. But uh, it started to... I had a few near misses putting it in where I almost cut myself. I mean, you can not quite shave with this edge usually, but it's close. Oh, mink oil, real cheap, works great on leather. Just like I said, be sure to use it after you've done all your epoxy work because once you do, epoxy will no longer stick to oiled leather, at least not for the next year or two. Okay, if you have any questions, it's not supposed to be pretty. This is not for show. This is something that I use nearly every day. This is totally utility. And it needs to be safe and easy. Something I can trust. And there it is. <sighs> OMG update. That's right. I just used an OMG emoji in the Axe Sheath video. But I want to bring this to your attention. I didn't really think about it much. But I just spent about an hour or so splitting. And... I think that if I were to make it a mirror image of itself, it might be more prudent because I typically hold it in my right hand getting started, especially up high because my right hand is on top when I use it. So the axe is usually like this and so it's a bit cumbersome, it's upside down. You may want to mirror image this. Think about it first while you're playing around with your newspaper. I think I might like to slide it in like this better. Something to consider. See you on the next thing.